god, dude. Look at this damage. Oh, oh, oh no. That, that, okay. Wow. You're a jerk, aren't you? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. What is going on guys, Me Gamer 16 welcome back to another video, and yes, today we here another Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing video, and today, we're going to go up against the Kaguya Raid, that just dropped the Naruto Blazing, and I know for the people who are probably wondering, where has the Naruto content been, how come you haven't been playing Naruto as much, um, I'm going to get into that in a separate video, but for right now, I am going to, um, do the Kaguya Raid, I'm going to help you guys, you know, basically give you a guide on how to beat it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, I can beat this raid, zero difficulty. No, I mean, even with this team I'm bringing here, this same team I'm using, I've lost three times to Kaguya, and I beat her three times. So right now, I'm at a one-to-one -one win to lose ratio right here. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a pro, but I have a, a good idea on how I'm supposed to beat her, but then again, it's not 100% because she's very unpredictable. So here's the first stage right here. She has bravery, and as you can see, she boosts her mobilization and jutsu resistance by 75%. So basically, for example, if I were to use Sasuke's ultimate, which is an 80% chance to mobilize, it really only goes down to 5%, which is dumb, I know, but that's how it is. So her, she has a jutsu on this stage that, um, man, let me just auto this, because this first part I can auto until I need to start boosting up the OT Naruto, so I don't really need to worry about that right now. But her jutsu, you see that danger right there, has a chance to jutsu seal on the first stage. On the second stage, she does the same thing, but it has a chance to mobilize. On the third stage, the boss stage, it has a chance to jutsu seal and to mobilize. And then she has a continuous on the first and second stage. On this stage, the continuous is really just three consecutive attacks, no jutsus. The, the second stage, it's three, three of her jutsus in a row, which all have a chance to mobilize. So... She's pretty unpredictable, this Kaguya. The strategy really here is, I mean, you kind of just beat the death out of her <laughs> until um, you're ready to just pop off your Jutsus, get her low, and then stall up again. In my case, I don't really need to use Jutsus to beat her on this stage or the second stage. Well, the second stage, yes. This stage, no. You kind of just keep, like, beat her up. <laughs> so let's do that. Now, for the, the teams that I recommend you bring, there's not really like any specific units that you should bring. You just need to bring units that heal, <laughs> heal, like definitely heal, and units that do a lot of damage. And make sure your team has a lot of health. Because if your team doesn't have a lot of health, you're instantly screwed. Because this woman's jutsu hits for a lot. I'm talking like a lot of damage. So if you don't have like high health from the start, you're already like screwed. There's like no way. Like I can't. There's nothing I could tell you that will help you. Like, you just need a lot of health. So this team is, like, this raid is definitely, like, um, targeted towards the people who put, you know, some money into this game. Or have been playing for a while that have units that can do this type of stuff. I mean, if you aren't a veteran or you haven't been playing the game for a while, this raid will definitely, like, struggle. It's not, this is not, like, the type of raid where you can probably bring, like, some free team and then bring, like, one OP character and beat it. Like, no, this, this is next level stuff right here man <laughs> so we're about to finish up the first stage dead okay let's take auto off now second stage so she does the same thing she did in the first stage boosts um jutsu ceiling and immobilization resistance by 75 percent we're just gonna pop off um both of the six paths first jutsu just to get some damage off so we're not here for f another five years because the the final stage is going to take us long enough just notice the health that this woman has, by the way. And now we're just going to honor her for a little bit till we get her low. And then we're going to start um, stalling for six paths ultimates and to reboost our Naruto. So, you know, he's pretty much at prime. <sighs> Where are you at right now? Seven? Okay, we can go like another rotation. Just to get a little bit more damage off on her. Okay, that's fine. Um, wait, actually, I think you're about to run out. Well, may have waited a little too long. <laughs> that's fine. That is fine. 
she yeah, so that's what I was talking about her continuous it's stupid. <laughs> I mobilized two of my units. Oh my god. And you see all my health? Half my health is gone. And this is the second stage. Like yeah, like she's no joke. Like she's really difficult. So when I said I lost three times, you know, I have a reason for it. <laughs> she's she's not like she's not playing around. She wants her chakra back, dudes. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't add that as a mechanic, because, I mean, like, technically... You see, like, instead of a mobilization or jutsu, like, sealing, I would have preferred the chakra, like, cons like steel, because, like... First of all, it makes sense. She's Kaguya. I mean, that was the whole purpose of her being revived. She wanted her chakra back. And second of all, I mean, it's in my opinion, it's just less annoying than being jutsu sealed and immobilized constantly. Like, I don't know. To me, that's the case. For you guys, it may not be. Um, Jesus... Uh, uh, uh. Luckily, she's not targeting OT because he she, he has no resistance whatsoever to wisdom attacks. So luckily, she's not targeting him. Um. All right, we have to go through one more continuous, and we can get off the stage. Oh my God, dude! Look at this damage. Oh, oh, oh no! That, that okay? Wow, you're a jerk, aren't you? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Can I get the crystal drop? Oh, by the way, crystal drops seem to be, um, I don't know if they're increased or what, or they just made them guaranteed. You see, like, right there. Every time I've done the raid so far, whether I've lost or won, I've gotten the drop. So, like, I don't know if they made it guaranteed. I don't, like, I don't, I can't, I don't really know. But, um, yeah, so, but the, the card drop is basically like any other normal impact raid. It's just a chance, like, just luck. But here we go. All right, so we're in the final stage. <sighs> And yeah, and the final stage also, she heals 1500 every turn. So to in order to kind of like counter that, you just gotta pop off with every single like most powerful jutsu you got. So I'm literally just gonna ultimate spam. <laughs> um, you see, look, she already healed back. Um, I'm gonna just keep her in the corner up here with me, just because I don't want her going near everyone else. And I'll see, and I'll show you guys why in a second. Now, you have to make sure you don't get too cocky. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Because her ultimate jutsu does about 3,000 damage to every single unit. And keep in mind, it's an AoE, and it's a large range because she is a vast range unit. So you have to keep in mind that you have to keep your units somewhat separated. You can't keep them too close together. She's going to cock you over. That's honestly the only reason I've lost every single time. Because I got cocky, and I'm like, no, I can take her out. And it's like, well, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you have to be a little wise with how you place the units. The best thing to do is to keep, like, one of the units... Whoever, whatever unit is closest, let them attack her, you know, like, do some chip damage. You see, look, I almost got... I almost died. I almost got murked right there. See? Yeah. And I didn't even, like... I wasn't even being cocky. I was just placing my units, and she's just able to reach them. So, yeah. Um, no joke. <laughs> The best thing to do is to like let your um, your, let your ninja's jutsu just build up, and then from there, maybe like hopefully you can probably get like chip her off. And that's really like what I've been sticking to. Um, yeah, let's just do that. So yeah, I mean that's that's really all I can tell you. I don't really know if there's any other better way. If there is, let me know. But I kind of just been letting my like my units jutsu kind of just build up and then like chip her off. If she, if she didn't have this ultimate, it really, like, the raid would not be that bad at all. But it's the fact that she has it that just makes it so annoying. Alright, let me see if I can just move you, like... Oh man. Okay, guys. Sorry. I reset because I didn't want to have to waste a Jutsu. It's not like if I didn't hit her with it, I would have died. It's just that I didn't, like, I really didn't want to waste a Jutsu. I just want, because I just want to get away, like, as far away as possible from Naruto, but also hit her with it okay so that's good all right um man she's going for i wonder if i can like i wonder if she's gonna be mm. all right you see i put tsunami in a bad spot what if i go down here i don't think she can hit both of us yeah nope no she cannot okay um let's move you back up here Let's move you over here. Okay. All 
if I keep you right here, let's get some slip damage off. Okay, decent damage too, nice. Um, okay, I was expecting that. So we're gonna move you like right here. And we're gonna move you up here. And also, like you notice what I did? I'm trying to place my units to where, you know, they're not cl too close enough together to where they can get cucked. So you gotta, it's kind of like a puzzle. You gotta make sure you place your units in places where they can't get messed up so easily. So you know, so she's almost dead. She's almost there. I need like one more person's jutsu and she's dead. I don't trust killing her like just by normal attacks because she doesn't have like that low of health to where you can do that. Um, if you're confident enough to do it, go ahead. But me, I'm, keep, I'm playing it safe. I'm not going to do all this work just to die. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's dead at this point. This and Naruto's Jutsu will be able to kill her, so. All right, that's the raid. Boom. Come on, please drop, drop. All right, see, the drop rate's pretty bad. <laughs> I've only gotten her drop like once, and that was the first time I did it. Um, lucky drop? Okay, I'll take lucky drop. And crystals, too. Crystals, great. Now, as far as, do you want to ultimate her? Yes. Yes, you do. I'll show you exactly why. Hang on. So let's, if we look at the unit, they added this, like, I don't know if they're doing this for every single, like, impact rate from now on, or just Kaguya, but they have, in the limited ninja trials, they're giving you, like, rewards for doing specific things on the Kaguya rate. Like, for example, um, playing the impact raid 10 times gets you, um, how many of these cups? Gets you five of the four star cups. Um, beating it, um, five times. Gets you three of the crystals. Unlocking two abilities on Kaguya gets you one pearl, and then getting her to 20 luck gets you another one. So, you know, like, it's pretty nice, um, stuff you're getting here. Now, let's go look at the Kaguya card. So, if you look here, remember, those aren't her, um, like, max limit broken stats, because I haven't limit broken her yet. But at level 100, decent stats for a vast range unit. So, if you don't limit break her, I mean, those stats are still pretty good. Um, and you look at all these, <laughs> all these abilities, damage boost against body ties by 15%, skill 15%, bravery 15%, wisdom 15%. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a heart one. Her last one is just, um, boosts the rate of immobilization by 10%. Her field and buddy skills, so she boosts attack by 90 to 180 for field, and there is a chance of receiving immobilization, that's not too great. But, her jutsus are pretty good. Um... 4.5 times attack towards all enemies in range and 50% chance of mobilization for one turn. So you get her final ability, it'll go up to 60%. And then 14 times attack towards one enemy in range and knocks them back. 70% chance of mobilization for two turns. And if you get the ability, then obviously it's going to be 80%. So kind of like the Sasuke, but not really. So, you know, overall, she's pretty good. Um, and you look at that. 207 speed, just at level 100. 21,000 health, only at level 100. And that strength is pretty good. So, you know, overall, even if not limit broken, she has decent, you know, PvP stats. So she's a pretty good unit to, you know, use. But anyways, guys, from Milton Gamer 16, if you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if they, well, want to see me get cucked by Kaguya, or they just wanted to see if Kaguya was worthwhile, and she definitely is. But anyways, guys, stay awesome, my fellow gamers. See you guys in the next video. Peace.